Ah, uh, it's been a long time since I've done one of these videos. So long, in fact, that I've lost my beard in the interim. But I'm working on getting her back. Greetings, everybody. Welcome back to my studio and another video for How I Podcast. And as I always say, I'm not going to tell you how to podcast. I'm just showing you the things that I use and how I use them. And you can pick and choose the things that may apply to your certain use case situation and disregard the rest. Uh, today, I need to talk about another one of my sound cart machines. Uh, last time, I told you about the program that I use, the app that I use on my iPad, right? I'll put a link up to that in case you missed it. Uh, Black Cat uh, Systems um, Soundbite is what it's called, and it's a fantastic little um, sound cart machine. But now I need to show you the one that I use on my Mac. And yes, I am a Mac, and I don't believe that this uh, is available for Windows. But by Rogue Amoeba, we're looking at Farago. 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 I don't know. It's a tricky name. I don't know how to pronounce that. It, the name doesn't seem to have anything to do with Fidelipax or NAB cartridges or the cart machine uh, in general. Uh, but uh, they used to have a sound cart machine called Soundcart, I believe. And I used that for years. Well, they did away with that program and rebuilt uh, or, or built a brand new one from the ground up. And I love it. I do. Uh, it's $49 for the Mac. Worth every single penny, mind you. I got a deal on it because I owned a license to their previous sound cart machine. But I believe there's a free trial available, and I will put a link to it down in the description below. So this is what it looks like uh, up on the screen, full screen, and I have access to all of my sound cards. Uh, carts or uh, racks, they call them sound sets. If you see here on the left-hand side, I can hide the sets and show the sets. There are seven here uh, that I have. Well, one is a sample set that they sent with the program and uh, with preloaded. There we go! Yay! Sound cart machine. Uh, Farago. Farago. I don't know how to say it. Uh, Anyway, regardless, let's go ahead and take a look at this. So we um, have our sound sets or our uh, racks, as they should be called. You can hide once again and show them. Down at the bottom, you can add a new set or delete a set this way. There is also a way that you can delete it um, uh, using keystrokes, and sometimes you'll delete them, or I have deleted them without realizing that I deleted an entire uh, rack, and I'll talk about that more in just a moment. But uh, there we go, and um, here's the main window. These are our carts. Each one is an individual cart. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, you know. Uh, here's a neat thing about this is that it does expand more. So here I just highlighted classic rock loop. Let's listen to the classic rock loop. All right, I faded that out. I don't really like that. But this does expand. You can drag all the way over as far as your uh, your zero key. Um, below that, your P, uh, colon, slash, blah, 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 and then your, your additional one. So it does open way up, if you understand what I'm saying. You can put a lot of carts in an individual rack. Uh, you can color code them, all that good stuff. And the way that you do that is here on the right side, the inspector. And you can hide the inspector. You can show the inspector. You can add a sound this way with the, uh, with the plus here. The best way that I find to add a sound is simply dragging and dropping. Open up Finder, find your sound file, and just drag it on here right into the spot where you want it. And it, again, it's easy to adjust and go, you know, move them anywhere around. Okay. Very handy, very slick, very modern. So they say, all right. So back here uh, to the inspector, we're clicked on number five, classic rock loop. I can change the name here. Okay. Uh, I can, um, you know, play from here. I don't know why you would want to, but uh, you can fade out from here. Okay. Okay. Uh, 
here we can, I'm not going to do it on this one, but because uh, I'll goof it up. But if I grab these highlight uh, bars, these iron bars at the end, um, you can adjust the um, the duration where you want to start playback, where you want to end playback, all of those things. You can write notes about, you know, this, uh, this uh, is a classic rock mess. Boom. Okay, there we go. Now I'll go back to settings. Uh, so I have that in my notes, um, and that'll show up. Uh, for example, if I were to go back here to the main window, go up to the top, I'm looking at this by grid right now. I could switch to lists, okay, and it would put them from top to bottom. Well, look at this. Number five, here's my note. This is a classic rock mess. I don't use it that way. That drives me nuts anyway. I like it this way because it's laid out according to my keyboard. Back to the inspector. Volume A is what it's playing at right now. Uh, let's play that again. Okay, now if I want to duck it so that I can speak over it, I can just tick volume B while it's playing, like so. And there you go, all classic rock here on your classic rock radio station or podcast with me, Michael. And then I'll fade it out. Obviously, this is classic rock loop, so it has the looping check mark. You can change the, the colors of the carts. This is what I love very much because I color code all of my all of my uh, sound carts so that I can easily identify them. Like here's uh, the sound, um, the rack for or the sound set for one of my radio shows. These are all things that I know. And so as I'm doing the show, it's just really super simple to. Oh wait, who's, who's calling? Hello? Am I number 10? N number 10? No, I'm not taking call. I'm doing a video. You're kidding. No, I wouldn't kid you for the world, but thanks for calling anyway. I don't know how you got the number. So there you go. It's fantastic. Now, let's go up to the top to the menu. Here we go. Farago. Far Farago. Here we go. Preferences. And you need to choose which system you're going to send the sound through, how you're going to route the sound. Mine is routed through my output, my built-in output, and the headphone jacks because from my computer, it comes into channel strip 5.6, stereo channel 5.6 on my board. I talked about that in uh, one of the videos on my Behringer uh, 1204 USB. If you missed that, go back and watch that. And then from my board, it's routed through the output into my digital audio recorder, which I talked about that right up here if you haven't seen that. So you do need to set your uh, your output. Where are you going to route your, your, uh, your audio from your sound carts? Uh, sound set. This is very important. The second... Uh, Section. Well, here you can add a sound set from here too and make a new set, blah, 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 blah. But these two, import and export set. When you have your rack set up the way that you like it, make sure that you export it and save it somewhere. Um, and uh, every time you make a change, export it and save it. Because going back uh, to what I was talking about a little bit earlier on, I have accidentally, while doing a show, I have accidentally deleted an entire sound set, an entire rack of cards. I don't know how I did it, but I did it. And I was doing the show live. I was able to just go right in here to sound set and then import that set back in. Took all of two or three seconds. None was the wiser. Nobody knew what was going on. And I had my rack uh right back where it should be all settings preserved and all of that so make sure that you are constantly saving your sound sets and that's about it i mean up here is the um up is the master volume and you see i have mine at a very wacky gun i mean is that three quarters or is that four fifths it's right around there well that's where i need to have it after much 
testing of audio levels just the way that I have my system set up in order to get the proper uh, volume input going into my digital audio recorder. So make sure that you're playing with these things. Now, most of my carts are going to be, um, I'm clicking on cart number one here, and then back over to the right to the uh, to the set settings and uh, whatever they call that. Um, in the inspector, I have it at 100% volume. But sometimes there are some that, uh, I don't know, where would be one... Um, Oh, here's one that uh, station that swings. I have that down to 80% uh, because it was more dynamic, louder than that uh, number one uh, sound cart. You, you have to play with these to make sure you're getting your levels right. And I talked all about that in previous videos. That's it. That's Farago, Far Farago, whatever they call it. I love it and I use it every single day. Now, there is another sound cart system for the Mac, which is a fraction of the cost, and it is called Podcast Soundboard. Just look for it in the Mac App Store. Um, flip over to it here. It's I bought it for $4.99. I'm not sure what it costs now. Um, I've never used it on a show because I don't like it. Um, I thought that I was going to get away with having to spend the money on Farago, um, but uh, after trying this out, nope, I got to spend that money. I need the functionality uh, in that uh, Rogue Amoeba program. But this one may be just fine for you for $5. Uh, one thing that I don't like about it is that uh, when I color code, look at number one here. Now which is, is not the time for which the is lightning bane. round. Okay. I color coded it, and it's just this little just the one just the key number i want the whole entire thing to be green i want the whole entire thing to be whichever color i assign uh to my uh to my cards but anyway check that out uh i'm out of time i'm running out of batteries here on the camera if you have any questions or comments leave them below uh make sure to subscribe to the channel ring the bell down there to be notified each time i upload a new video and until next time Go out there and produce something.